Hi. Here I am out on a dog walk and just decided to send you a video post of um, my reasons for wanting to be one of your five little guinea pigs. Um, part of the reason I'm doing it now, uh, walking the dog in the rain, holding an umbrella, is because I haven't got time to sit down and really write it down. And as you said, when you're talking, stuff just kind of tends to come from the heart and I think that this is the best way for me to for me to tell you why I think it would be good for me to do. So one of the things which really came across in your original video post and one of the things that's really important for you to see from us is about commitment um, and I think that's the first thing that I'd like to talk about. So commitment, you know that I'm committed to stuff, you saw that when I came to see you before I ran the marathon. Um, the fact that I achieved such a massive goal in my life was was such a major point for me but I think I've learned an awful lot more from it than just the fact that I can run 26.2 miles um hang on tangled up in the dog lead there we go um I think yeah the fact that I that I've learned so much more from it than just the fact that I can run a really 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 long way um there's a couple of things I think which I'll I'll, I'll come back to um as part of this post hopefully if I remember um, so yeah, you know that I'm committed, um, you also know that I need really clear goals and, and guidance and things to, things to stick to, um, and part of the problem with me is that I'm not very good at drawing up my own plan. When I was a kid I used to spend loads and loads and loads of time drawing up timetables for revision and, and, and drawing up really beautiful like schedules for revising and spent loads of time doing that and didn't actually spend any time revising. So I'm good at putting the stuff down on paper, but actually putting the work into it is something which I've struggled a bit more with, and, and that's where I need a bit more a bit more guidance. And I think from the sounds of it, your your plan, whilst it's quite self-motivating, there'll be a group of us on it at the same time, and I think that support will be really useful for me. Um, so there's also the side of it that you were talking about making time for myself making time to relax time to meditate and all of that kind of stuff you know, you know the kind of work that I do and that that stuff's really really important to me but as well you know it's often easy to dish out the advice and it's not always as easy to to follow it all the time to the letter and I think that's something which I'm not very good at all the time I need I need to feel a bit more focused and have a real schedule and know why I'm doing it and what what I'm supposed to be doing so I can do it properly um I think part of that comes from the fact that I've never ever dieted um in my whole life um I've just never seen a need to but I think coming back to the stuff that I learned from the marathon it's about um I might not feel that I'm particularly overweight um but I might not be as healthy as I could be and by now I should be in my prime really and and I'm perhaps not where I want to be so all of the things that you mentioned so the supplements and the exercises and doing 10 minutes in the morning 10 minutes in the evening 45 minutes three times a week all of that stuff sounds like something which I can achieve but um I just need to know what I'm supposed to be doing with with that time um from the diet side of things I think that would really work for me as well so not having meal plans I don't need meal plans I don't want meal plans I want the opportunity to be creative you know I've got a young family I work full time you know you can make me a meal plan but the chances are it's probably not going to fit for me and I need to be able to be a bit more flexible than having someone tell me exactly what to eat I don't think I don't think that's the way to go either because at some point in the future you're not going to be there and and I need to be able to do this on my own and so having guidelines rather than a set rule book would perhaps be more helpful for me um okay the video post and the blogging and that kind of diary keeping i think that would be really great for me because um it's just it's just something which is going to be really useful um an easy way to do things an easy way to keep track and it's also the way that i communicate anyway um you know it's part of us and how we are as a generation and it's about speed and efficiency for me and this is something which works if i can walk the dog and send a really important message then that's great um so i think that's something which would be good at as well along with the other stuff in terms of supporting other people and having that network on facebook so you can support us and we can support each other that that's going to be really helpful too and i think that's a really positive part of the program that i'd benefit from and and that i'd also be able to contribute a lot too um 
so that's that side of it. Um, I think one of the things that I learned um, following my experiences in April and building up to April, um, you know the state that I was in when I came to see you, um, and how stressed I was and how difficult it was for me to actually meet that goal or the thought of me not being able to meet it and what that might have done to me. Um, you know how important it was for me to, to fulfil what I'd set out to. And that's why I know I'd be able to stick to the programme that you're going to give us um, at whatever level that you give it to us, I'd still be able to do it. Um, but the one thing the marathon did teach me is that whilst I can, I can run and I can run and I can run for miles and miles, actually the building blocks that's underneath that perhaps were not as fit and healthy as they could have been. Um, so it's all very well putting one foot in front of the other for 26.2 miles, but actually... If I'm honest, I haven't run since the marathon, not even once, and that was nearly three months ago. So, uh, yeah, I might have been fit and healthy enough to do it, but I didn't put in as much training as I wanted to. I certainly haven't maintained it after the marathon, um, and I've missed it, but it's also been a relief, and and it felt like quite a burden having the training schedule and the pressure that I had, and that's not what having a healthy lifestyle should be it shouldn't feel like a burden to me it should feel like a, a pleasure to feel healthy and and active and in shape and that's that's how I want stuff to be so yeah along with all the other stuff about like cutting things out and putting things in and supplements and the exercise and the routine and the structure I just think above all that part of holding me back would be useful sometimes I can go a bit hell for leather at things like maybe I should have stuck at just half marathons rather than running the full marathon and, and having level one and having to complete level one before you can move on to level two might be something which is useful because sometimes I can set myself the biggest goal and I'll only end up being cross with myself for not completing it. Um, so yeah, to summarise, <laughs> the reason that I want to be part of the programme is because I feel like it's the right time in my life to do something. Um, I feel the stuff that you're putting forward and putting out to us is, is going to be helpful to me and that I will benefit and I also feel like I can bring a lot to the group um, in terms of supporting others because stuff like that and making big changes like that is not is not always easy but I'm sure as hell committed and I'll give it everything that I've got and everything that you chuck at me and I will come out on the other side smiling um, and I hope that you appreciate the effort that I've put into this video blog on my little rainy walk and um, that you consider having me as one of your guinea pigs. Uh, looking forward to hearing more about what the program's about and um, hope you're well. Bye!